How to install stable OpenStack Liberty in Ubuntu using DevStack. So here I am going to install OpenStack Liberty in, in a VirtualBox VM. So this is my VirtualBox VM. So this is Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, I am going to show my network configuration network configuration of this VM so I have two adapter NAT and host only adapter so let me check the IP of the VM so the IP of the VirtualBox VM is 192.168.56.5 So let me log into that vir uh, VirtualBox VM So I am going to SSH to that VirtualBox VM So this is the ETH1 interface of the VirtualBox VM. So here I can see the IP of the host only adapter. So this is an IP of the NAT interface. Okay, first we need to we need to clone DevStack. So for that we can use this command git clone then the URL of the dev stack repository then minus b name of the branch. So I am going to clone stable liberty branch from this repository. So you can see that branch here if you go to this dev openstack hyphen dev slash dev stack you can see the branch here the latest branch is stable liberty so I am going to clone this branch so first we need to install JIT before that okay I have installed JIT now let me clone so cloning into dev stack you can see okay I have cloned cloned the repository so let me go to that dev stack folder there actually you can see one script named stack.sh so we need to run that script so like this we, we can run that script like this dot slash the name of the script then we have to enter the password for database so I am going to give Nova all password I am going to give the same now it started installing so it's doing app get update now
okay now it is cloning keystone Okay, installation completed. This is our host IP address. Horizon is now available at 10.0.2.15 slash dashboard. So Keystone is serving at port number 5000. Default usage are admin and demo. Default password is no. So let me access the dashboard. open link so here I have to change this IP address to So this is the IP address of ETH1. So if we check if config, so this is the IP address I given there. Then username, admin, password, nova. So let me create one VM. So this is the default. So it has compute admin section. Identity. Okay. Let me create one VM. Launch instance. VM1. select zeros keep pair default okay that's enough this is the minimum configuration required to create a VM spawning 